What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug. Welcome back to WWE 2K20 on the PS4. Do me a favor and hit the burning hammer on that like button for Ribby, because today we're in Chapter 4, going to Memphis, Tennessee. Let's continue the story. Catching up on all times has been great, but we should really get going. Besides, shouldn't we save some of this for our speech later? But we just got through all the boring backstory stuff. It really starts to pick up from here. I'm down for more. Hey, guys. It's so good to see you. Hi, Leda. Congrats on the Hall of Fame. This is really happening. It's not official yet. We have to actually make it to the building. They're not going to start without you. And even if they did, some of the speeches are so long, you'd still have plenty of time. Great. Yeah, I know. We were just telling Pac all about how we got started. Didn't we cross paths on an indie show early on in your career? We did, at a minor league baseball stadium in Memphis, to be exact. That's right. I knew you had it back then. Trey, not so much. Why does everyone keep saying that? Because I'm lame. Because you didn't know the difference between a wrist lock and a wrist watch? Speaking of wrist watches, we really should get going. From my experience, this day goes by pretty fast. So you really want to relax and soak in every moment. Lead is right. When I got inducted with DX, everything just flew by. Then let's get back to soaking. Lita, if my memory is correct, you were just in Memphis for an autograph signing, but Red had other plans. So I just want to thank everyone in Memphis for coming out to the show. It's always great to be a part of these smaller events and connect with the people who have supported me for so many years. I'll be available for pictures and autographs starting in a few minutes. Don't be shy. Ribby! Hold on a second, can we cut the music? In the spirit of not being shy, I have something I want to say. Growing up, I was a huge fan of yours. Facing you in the ring is actually on this list I have. So I know you don't wrestle that much anymore, but I'll what? always regret this moment if I didn't ask. How about you skip the autograph session and go one on one with me? It's right a shoot, now. brother. I'm shooting on you. I don't mean this in a disrespectful way, but who are you? I don't mean this in a disrespectful way, but none of these people would be here paying you 10 bucks an autograph if it wasn't for me working my butt off this past year in Memphis. I mean, what? That's Look, not how that works. I get it. You're young and hungry, and you probably think I'm the entitled Hall of Famer who just shows up to cash in on all your hard work. But it's not like that. I'm here to support you and the indie scene. I mean, I used to be you. And by the way, I still didn't get your name. You'll hear the ring announcer say it after I beat you. This is... So you're not backing down, huh? Like I said, you're on my list. I'm sorry, everyone. But I'm gonna have to delay this autograph signing until after I win this match. This is kind of like... The way this game treats wrestling in kind of a half kayfabe fashion, fashion is weird to me. Because it's like, either you want to put, put the, the curtain all the way or you don't. Uh, and kind of doing it in a halfway deal is unusual. Unusual. Anyway, welcome to a fine, what the hell is today, Friday? It's Friday! It's the end of the week. Get hype for that. But yeah, this game, man, this, this, this my career in particular, is very much, hey, we're gonna do the whole page movie thing, which is fine, like, that is what it is, but the way these games, in general, treat kayfabe, where it's like, oh no, you're working the match against so-and-so, but no, then, then you're, tr tr then you're gonna treat it like an actual fight is weird, weird, but also, in this kind of event, as this kind of an indie event, what you do, as a promoter, is you bring in the big names to get people in the building signing the autographs. And then you have the other up-and-coming wrestlers wrestling in that thing. So obviously, Lita being on the 
on the marquee on the billboard is what got folks in the building, not Red doing her wrestling thing as an unknown here in Memphis. That is 100% not how it works. You have the big names doing the autographs because they get the butts in the seats because they're names. They have name value. So, just, just saying, man. Just saying. Anyhow, it is Friday. That means SmackDown is tonight. And it's not going to be on Fox. It's going to be on Fox Sports 1 because World Series. So, don't get all freaked out. Tune to Fox and don't see the show. It's on Fox Sports 1. So, it is not preempted. It is on a different channel. Make sure... Tune in to a different channel to watch the SmackDown. It is the final SmackDown before Crown Jewel, which is uh, next Thursday. So that should be interesting, if nothing else, considering that we're still going to have SmackDown uh, next Friday, and you're going to be in Saudi on Thursday, and then in, like, Boston or something like that on, on Friday. Like, what in the blue hell? It's crazy. That schedule is crazy. Dropping her. Going to the top. Leona Locke's gonna fly on Alita. Woo! Elbow drop. All right. Anyway, uh, some rumors on NXT for 2020 that they are considering having NXT be a touring brand and touring into arenas, which a lot of folks had assumed when they announced that two-hour TV deal for USA in the first place. That hey, it's not gonna last here on on just full sale. That's just not gonna happen. So, not surprising they're considering having it be a touring brand. My question is, if NXT is a touring brand, are you going to go see it when it's live in your town? Let me know in the comments below. I'm curious. It depends on the pricing, right? So, we're on SmackDown to get up and get good seats is not cheap. With NXT being a third brand, would it be cheaper? I know NXT house shows are pretty cheap. But would their TV tapings, because of how much it costs to rent out a building for TV tapings, would those be in line with prices from Raw and SmackDown? That's my a question. I really need to have the Raw Out of the Ring skill. Like, I gotta find that on the skill tree. I don't have it. It's real bad. Sleeper locked in from Lita. Good God almighty. Nope. Squirr. Squirr all day. Now then. Continuing with the rumors of WWE trying to buy Japanese promotions, they also apparently tried to buy Dragon Gate. And I'm like, man, that's Noah, that's Stardom, Dragon Gate. Pretty much everyone who's big enough outside of New Japan, they've been trying to buy. That's crazy. Also, these major reversals in this game, that was a light grapple. How in the hell is it happening to me so often in this game? Like, way more this year than any other year of this game with the major reversals. It's kind of bonkers. I might turn back on the limited reversals to at least try to mitigate it a little bit. Because I like playing with unlimited, but if it's going to keep on do doing this to me, it's kind of ridiculous. And now, Lita reverses the locks down. Okay, well, you know, from one to the next, from one to the next, I miss the comeback. I missed the comeback. That's lame. That is super lame. Thanks, Lita. Thanks, Lita. Making it super difficult. The Beal from Lita. Going to the top. Going to hit that Lita moonsault. The moonsault. Can she do it? Can she do it? Knees. No knees. No knees. No Tony knees. Res resiliency. Res resiliency. All right. So it says triangle. You have to hold R2 and hit triangle. Because of the change controls this year that are kind of garbage. So, it just takes some some learning, man. Some learning. These controls, very frustrating. Whee! Anyhow, Lita has her comeback now. Pinfall! Pinfall. So, yes, WWE continuing to try to form their NXT Japan and getting shut down at just about every juncture in trying to buy their way into it, which is, you know, they, that's, that's what they do, right? Like, well, we could build it, or we could just buy it. We have the money. Speaking of which, speaking of money, somebody that was going to get signed to the XFL was like, dude, you're paying, like, minimum wage. It was, like, 30 grand a year. Why would I even bother to play football for 30 grand a year? Like, come on now. That's insulting. And, he's, you know, oh, I'm out. I'm out. So, that's some funny stuff. That's some funny stuff. No, Lita. 
I'm tired of these major reversals. They're making me mad. So mad. So mad. Uh, the hit detection and the targeting in this game are trash. Like, I've kind of figured it out. If you are a casual player who only plays an exhibition and does not play a lot of this game, I can understand why you think, oh, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. But if you play a lot of this game every year, you've noticed that, man, it is not fine. Things are definitely different, and things are definitely worse in the game this year. And, yeah, I gotta turn back on limited reversals because, man, this is getting real rough. Anyhow, we have an injury happening. Injury update. Xavier Woods, Achilles tendon. That could be anywhere from weeks to like 9 to 10 months, depending on is it a strain, a sprain, or a tear. If he tore it, he's out for a while. So, no, no word on the exact severity of that injury just yet. But it's not looking so good for your boy Xavier Woods. And looking real good for a lot of up, up, down, down content. Obviously. Obviously. So, triangle. There we go. Haha. -ha. Take that, Lita. Take that. Turnbuckle. Overhead throw. Oh, hell yeah. We gon' hit this finish, Lita. You gon' get locks down, Lita. That's gon' be what it's gon' be. And I'll show you why I am the best. Or, or not, or not, I'm going to lose this match. And watch that whole cutscene again, because you can't skip cutscenes in this my career. How in the blue hell is a video game in 2019 not let you, oh come on, skip cutscenes? How is that a thing? I just lost to Lita. Exit. We're turning back on limited reversals, because this is garbage. I'm tired of getting hit with constant major reversals. Trash. Not a single button on this controller lets me skip this minutes-long cutscene. That is bad game design in 2019. What the blue hell are you doing? I'm gonna make a sandwich and come back and still be doing this thing again I've already watched. Oh hey, we're back. It finally finished. Again. Fantastic. Here we go. Limited reversals are turned on. I have two. Lita has four. So, let the stomping begin. Let the old school way of getting these reversals used up begin. Like that. And Thez Press from Leona. And let's get this match over with, underwear, whatever else we need to move on today. There are more things to play and discuss today. Lita. Lita! It's time to get locks with the German. Maintain wrist control. Down. And then continue stomping. Yep. Do it. Spear! 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 From Lita. But now I have two reversals and you have zero, Miss Lita. Zero. A spear ain't gonna be enough. You gonna take the L here, Miss Lita. It's gonna happen. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Close line. D no! What the? Boo! Come back. Boo! It's time to take the L. Don't you rope break me, referee. One, two, three. Immediately jumping. The hell, man. Shake my hand. Good match. Red. Yay! That happened. Took a half an hour. That that, that happened. Alright, sure. Cross it off the list. Oh, wait. Win the Royal Rumble is on the back of this list. Okay. I and definitely knew Red's name after that night. I was impressed Red was able to keep her composure and talk you into the match. Usually in those situations, she would lose her temper and go into hothead mode. You're one to talk about keeping your composure after what you did that night. 
Before my match, I have something very important I need to do. I've seen Ribby out here dancing with the kids all night, but I think I've got some pretty sweet moves myself, so how about Ribby and I find out who's better with the dance-off? No? How about no? How about pass? Hmm? Yeah, get in the ring, Ribby. Good job. Mm -hmm. This is, like, definitely very wrestling, but not the part that I like about wrestling. Anyhow, yeah, I've, I've never been a fan of the dance-off All right, wrestling. I'll go first. Hit me with some music. There's no music. It's YouTube. So... Actually, no, I'm sorry. There is music. Huh. I am not that athletic. I assure you. Okay, Ribby, top that. Yeah, Ribby, do it. Hit his music. Is he trying to floss? I think. I'm not sure. Back up. I mean, he's in a costume, so what can you do? Okay, wait, I was holding back. Let me get another turn. When the dance-off is on this list, I have. Nobody cares. When... I'm not trying. This was fixed. I demand a fair rematch. That's pretty funny. All right. Uh-oh. Something's happening. Not sure what. Oh, shit. Hey, no one wants to see any more of your terrible dance moves. What they want to see is me kicking your ass. I mean, what kind of stupid name is Trey anyway? I think a better name would be Crossword. Because you enter the ring vertically and you leave horizontally. <laughs> I mean, with a name like that, your parents must be the type of people who when you look into their eyes, you see the back of their heads. <laughs> you can say whatever you want about me. But don't talk about my parents. <laughs> What's the matter? You should be proud of them. Because I heard they created more tragedies than Shakespeare. <laughs> Did you come out here to dust off every one of your dated one-liners? Or do you want to have a match? Look, I'm just trying to entertain these people after your awful dancing. I mean, I've seen better moves in a blind chess match. <laughs> if you want to entertain them so bad, then how about we give them a match they weren't expecting? Well, if you keep boring everyone, pretty soon we're going to have an empty arena match. <laughs> I was thinking something more along the lines of no DQ. You know what? I'll take that and I'll do you one better. I know you've only been in Memphis for about a year, but I think everyone will agree that's a year too long. So how about we make this a no DQ, loser leave town match? Let's go, Lawler. Come on, crossword. What do you say? It's fitting your last match in Memphis is going to be in a baseball stadium because you just made the biggest error of your life. That was terrible. Oh, come on. That was just as good, if not better, than one of his lame jokes. Boo! Oh, says oh, the shut rib. Up, Ribby. After I send Lawler packing, ah. I'm going to eat you for dinner. That's pretty good. All right, the off the let's do this, crossword. Crossword, crossword, crossword. If you're fighting Jerry Lawler in Memphis, in a baseball field, you're gonna lose. That's how that works. Complete the match. See, it doesn't say win. It doesn't say win. It says complete the match. Exactly. Yeah. Jerry Lawler, the legend in Memphis is not losing to some nobody in a baseball stadium. Come on now. I don't care what year it is. He's still the king. Anyway. Man, I don't know. This this, this major reversals are really just harshing me on this game a lot this year. And I'm not sure why. There's so much more this year than last year. Year before. Like, I don't get it. But here we are. The Fist! It's classic Jerry the King Lawler. Absolutely classic. Man, so we're still kind of unsure on this whole 
patch on Monday thing. It still kind of uh, seems a little bit nebulous. And certainly we got Bump in the Night going to be happening. Supposedly. But anything else, it's just kind of... Who knows? Who freaking knows? Missed the kick. Yeah, Lawler with a combat roll. Somehow I doubt that would happen. I doubt it. Anyhow, with a sledgehammer from the king. No, king. You're too old for that. And you hated e ECW. You called it extremely crappy wrestling. So I'm going to get hardcore on me now. Pin the king. Pin the king. Roll him over. Pinfall. One. Not even a one count. So am I just supposed to lose immediately? And then leave town? I'm assuming that's the case here. But, like, why sit here for how long and then not... You know, why sit here forever just just to lose, is my question. So, I don't know, man. Might just get pinned and see what happens. But first, R1, R1, R1! What else is under the ring? Oh, it's table time, King! It's table time here in this baseball... Wrong way, wrong way! Bulldog onto the table! Oh, jeez. You know what? Yeah, alright. That's about what? That's about what? What? Get up! Get back in the... I shouldn't have got the table. I shouldn't have done that against a legend like Jerry the King Lawler. No, reverse something! Oh my god. Triangle, you fool. Try... Punch the ramp. He punched the steps. Triangle, you fool! You have it! Just... What the hell? Beating him like government mule. Beating the brakes off him. Good God almighty. Yeah, bring it in the ring, Lawler. Bring it in the ring, King. See what happens. Two. The King of Memphis, Tennessee. Stone Cold! Stone Cold! Stone Cold! So it is R1 to do it. And then it is X to... Set it up. Good to know. Come on now, Jerry Stupid Lawler, and your delicious Subway sandwich. We doing this thing. We doing this thing. Next to this table. Yeah! That was not my what? Nope. Well, yeah, okay, sure. Backdrop. Oh, wait, no, come back! Really? Really? I mean, look, it's no DQ, so that's fine. But... It takes so long to get out of the ring, I couldn't capitalize. I had to sit there and wait on the apron for five minutes. It's like, come on now. Come on now. Okay. Jerry Lawler. Jerry. No stamina. DDT. Spiked him. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what? Pin me, King. Pin me. Pay me. You're the King of Memphis. I'm going to leave town. We're done. Complete it. Why even try that match? Seriously. It's Lawler in Memphis. I know better. Bye-bye. And there's Ruby. Celebrating. Screw it. Wah. Wah. Punch, <laughs> punch the rib. Punch the rib. Hit the road, crossword. <laughs> crossword. 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 I'm not gonna say I told you so, but... I know. I was too focused on doing something stupid like a dance-off when I should have been worrying about my match with Lawler. And I'm sorry I let King bait me into the loser leaves town stipulation. Hmm, not so easy to control your temper all the time, is it? It's just he was saying stuff about my parents and I lost my cool. That's what Lawler does. He's made an entire career out of it. He had no idea you're adopted. <laughs> Good thing. I'm sure he would have had a field day with that. Well, it's too bad. I was enjoying Memphis. You're not staying? Your career shouldn't go off the rails because I got in over my head and lost a match. If you go off the rails, I go off the rails. I'm with you through good and bad. We're a package deal. Okay. Package deal. We should grab some food before we leave town. I'm thinking... Ribs? I deserve that. 
But all right then. So after 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 Memphis, Tennessee, where to? There we go. Unlocked Lawler. Unlocked baseball stadium. Get out of town. There we go. Brooklyn Von Braun got on a billboard. Good for her. Okay, that's it for today. A little bit shorter. I had the whole thing with Lita. It's, you know, what it is. I'm Attack Slug. Thanks for watching. More videos on this channel. See you next time. In a minute. That, here we go. Sorry, you're leaving town. Good luck. I'm never gonna date you. Thanks. Denver, All right. It's your mom and dad. I, I know we uh, had some words the other night, but we wanted to let you know if you change your mind about things and, and want to come home, you're always welcome here. Did you tell him the school said it's not too late to enroll for next semester? Yeah, I, I don't know if you heard your mom, but she said it's, it's not too late to get into school. I anyway, let us know if you want to talk. I in the meantime, be safe out there. Sorry, I'm gonna be a wrestler. Meanwhile, on the other side, Josie Jane. Hope we cross paths again. Don't let Trey hold you back. No offense, Trey, if you're reading this. Yeah, uh-huh. El Mago Jr. My dad can get your book down in Mexico. Awesome. And, uh, Riley Flash. Uh, yeah, hey, I hope Brian over at the used car lot hooked you up with a good deal. Because if he didn't, I could expose some skeletons in his closet. Or, or in his case, the trunks of the cars he sells. Two. Literally. There might be bones in there. Anyway, good luck out there on your own. Actually, you don't need luck. As long as you keep that temper of yours in check, you'll be fine. Trey, on the other hand, well, he's gonna need a steady diet of four-leaf clovers if he's gonna make it. All right, I need to get back to training the next crop of future WWE superstars. Keep in touch and make me proud. I know you will, at least. Man, that's harsh. Gord Wilson here, welcoming you back to Calgary Musings, your guide to living in the Stampede City. I want to update everyone on this past weekend's Winterfest, which was a huge success. Sure, there was a slight malfunction with some folks being stuck on the Ferris wheel, but... Really, isn't that just free bonus ride time? And most importantly, there were no wild moose attacks this time around. One of the highlights of the weekend was the wrestling matches put on by our loyal sponsor, Riley Flash. The standouts included his student, Red, who in her debut match defeated Peyton Royce from NXT. But I think my favorite part of the night was when this guy, Trey, another one of Riley's students, got his tongue stuck on one of the metal barricades at ringside. Oh, luckily, a fan with some hot cocoa helped him out. But man, talk about a sticky situation. Am I right? Anyway, while we're on the subject of wrestling and Riley Flash, let's take a quick break to hear from our sponsor. Hi, I'm Riley Flash. You may know me from WWE television when I carried the Macho Man's fancy chair to the ring or the time Papa Shango set my feet on fire. Uh, nowadays, I'm helping mold the superstars of tomorrow. So if you think you have what it takes to step in the ring, come on down to Riley Flash's Wrestling Academy. And for a limited time, if you mention this ad, your first training session is completely free, other than a one-time non-refundable initiation fee. So if you think you have what it takes, then give me a ring, and I'll see you in the ring. Riley Flash is not affiliated with WWE in any way whatsoever. All sales final. That was the same ad as last time. Whatever.